my drunk neighbor tried to break into my apartment. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, this story took place back in February this year where I lived in a really great apartment. I loved it. And for the most part, it was quiet in our little spot. And we were there for almost a year before um, this story took place. So the night that this story took place, I was home alone. It was the last Friday in February, and I was alone. It was only me and my dogs. My husband was at work, and we had been texting back and forth on his break and stuff like that. I was just sitting on our couch watching a movie and my, my dogs were sitting beside me and all of a sudden I hear this like banging outside. I was like what's going on out there? So I was like okay whatever somebody's just having issues. So I just continue watching my movie and the banging keeps going. It starts to be kind of muffled yelling like not argument argumentative yelling which is kind of aggravated yelling like someone's yelling at themselves like someone's just having issues I'm just gonna leave it alone whatever and I go back to my movie well then there's more banging and it seems kind of closer so I'm like okay this does not sound any more like an argument this is kind of starting to freak me out just a little bit so I go to our little peephole in our door and I look out and it's my neighbor across the way and he looks like he's basically drunk he's stumbling everywhere and just not like it looked like he had a good night but it was not having a good night now and I was looking for a little bit and it was it looked like either someone had locked him out of his own apartment or he was just having trouble getting into his apartment and he was getting frustrated and that's why he was banging and grumbling to himself. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave him alone. So, well, after I'm done looking and I'm back and seated and stuff like that, my door was like trying to be open. Thank God it was locked. And it almost sounded like he was trying to put his key into my lock, but it wasn't going and he was getting frustrated with that. So he was like jiggling the door handle and it was starting to freak me out. I was like, I'm home alone. I don't need people breaking in here because that had never happened before since we had been there. I was getting freaked out. So I had put, I know this, this part's going to sound stupid, but this is what I did. I had put my dogs in our bedroom and I had taken my laptop in there to continue watching a movie, but being far away from the outside door. Don't ask me why. I thought that would protect me in case he actually broke in. But that's what I did at the time. Looking back on it now, it sounds kind of stupid. So he had left my door and was going back to his door. and was So I was sitting in my bedroom floor watching what now on Netflix. And my dogs were kind of scared looking like, what's going on, Mom? What's going on? And so I just kept... I was in there for a little bit and I was texting my husband, telling him what was going on. He's like, if it keeps getting worse, you need to call the cops. And I was like, no, it's just, I don't want to deal with that. It'll be okay. He's been a good neighbor. And so I kept peeking out to, to check on him. It's like, things had quieted down. So I was like, okay, maybe he got into his apartment. I really don't know. I'm praying that he did and he didn't just go somewhere else to like, you know, like he didn't like drive somewhere because if he was that intoxicated that he couldn't get into his own apartment, God forbid he was actually driving. So I was looking inside. He, for some reason, he was laying down on the ground, like stretched out the little hallway where his feet were almost on my side and his head was on his side. It didn't look comfortable to me, but I guess it was comfortable to him. And so he was there for a good little while. I didn't call the cops. My He was going to call our security of the apartment complex and tell them about it and stuff like that. Because I didn't have the number. I don't know if he did or what, but after a while, like, my neighbor got up again and was banging on his door trying to get back in. 
And then everything went quiet for a good four to five hours or so. I don't know where he went. I don't know if he was able to get in to his apartment. Like someone that was inside finally let him in or if he was able to get his key in and open the door himself or whatever. But he left my door alone and like knock on the door or try to talk to me about him coming in and getting a hold of somebody and all that. He didn't do that. He just disappeared basically. And after that I hadn't seen him for a couple days so I don't know if he was actually picked up and like taken to jail to sober up or whatever. I just hadn't seen him after that. And then I finally saw him and he was his normal self again. Like he was his nice self his polite, he didn't seem drunk or anything. I don't know. Whatever happened that night was a very strange occurrence. And nothing happened anymore until we moved out back in April. So, I don't know exactly what went on that night. He just had a good time and I guess got a little too happy. But, so, that's all my... That's all for this video for today. Click below and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. I've hit the like button and I will see you all next time.